Welcome back. You can find us on the Twitters at the FF Dynasty. We all have individual handers. You can find me at IMC Myers. You can find Uncle Big Co and pick 2 1 Kalen Balaj at Dynasty Big Co. <laughs> and you can find Jay Wayne at Jay Wayne's World. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's put the pedal to the metal here. Is this me? I'm on uh, the clock, yeah, huh? You, you indeed are on the clock. Let's do it. Picking for Clayton at 2 2. Yeah, Clayton's got a not a great team. It's, it's not. So, it's, he's stacked up, except for running backs. Yeah, but he does have guys. So we'll throw oh, yeah, guys into this guys mix, in there. and it's and it's guys and Dion Lewis, and that's who we're rolling with right. all year long. Please don't get hurt, Dion Lewis. Right, and then it really falls off. We got Geo. Maybe Geo can catch some balls. Uh, he's Jay, got Jalen Rashard. Right. I don't know. Probably nothing. Devontae De- Booker is still not dead. Right? He's got Devontae Booker, which could turn into a startable asset if you need him. Some people are penciling him as the, as the one, and Royce is uh, it's, it's his job to lose. DeMarco could go over to like Indianapolis, be the main dude. I don't, I don't know. He could go somewhere. But he does have a nice stable of receivers that he could trade for another depth piece of uh, depth at running back here. Right. He's got he's got uh, Diggs and Larry Fitz and Pierre <laughs> and Al- Alshon, <laughs> Bobby Woods. So that's a solid little slew here, Bobby right? Woods. He's, he's got Zach Ertz. Curse. He's got Zach Ertz. He's got Danny Amendola. He's got a solid team. But now when you throw Geis on there with Deion Lewis and potentially DeMarco gets a shot, Gio could get he, – Gio's an injury Aaron, away. Got Aaron Rodgers, so that gives him a little bit of an edge every yeah, week. He's right, and he's got John Ross and – D.D. Westbrook down on the bottom, like well, you'll see what happens, but it's not not the worst. Those were slow. Out yep, the my swing. point exactly. You take right. those swings and make them into running backs last year, and you got a much better team. So I'm not. I Maybe. can't. I can't force. I can't force the running back here. Definitely on the John Ross. Uh, even though he running back is the weak spot of this dude's team, I just couldn't see myself forcing. You know the Hines pick here. I didn't. I never really even considered it. My my main thought was okay. I got. Balaz just went in front of me. I got Michael Gallup or Anthony Miller. And I, I immediately knew it was got to be one of those two dudes. And when, I'm on, when I was on the clock, my heart wanted to go Anthony Miller, but my head said I had to go Michael Gallup. Um, so what'd you do? I mean, I went Michael Gallup. There oh, it is. blew it. Bad <laughs> pick. Two blown picks in a row. <laughs> blew it. Why are you guys even listening to this? <laughs> Maybe I should have picked Anthony Miller. I mean, I, I think I like Anthony Miller Hold better as ground. a player. Hold your ground, Jay Wayne. Y'all boys just beat beat me back with a stick on my uh, Kalen Balazs. I'm ready to defend. I'm I'm going to defend this Michael Gallup pick. Don't you worry. All but right. but I, if well, you want to take Anthony Miller, we'll open here, up the floor then. <laughs> I can't I can't argue with you if you want to take Anthony Miller. Um, but I just I think I'd rather put my trust in Dak Prescott over old Mitch. I just I'm not ready to crown Mitch. I don't feel it in my plums for Mitch. I do like what the Bears have going on, but they got more of an offense. They got more offensive weapons than the Cowboys have. Sure. So they've got an alpha wide receiver over there in, in Allen Robinson who's going to command targets. Nagy's going to spread that thing around. I don't... Going to get some targets funneled into that tight end position. And and the running back position with Tariq Cohen. And I just... I, I, I'm not ready to trust... Trust Mr. Trubisky. I just... I'm not. So I, I, uh, I had to go Anthony Gallup. I mean, who else Michael the Gallup. Cow- Michael Gallup. Anthony Gallup. Tried to go I just best made them together. Worlds. Put them together. Michael Gallup. Uh, I mean, who else do the Cowboys have to catch the ball? Well, right? We got a, we got Alan Hearns, Terrence Williams. I mean, I know this isn't a Cole prolific. Beasley. I know it's not a prolific passing offense, but they can sustain drives and they can score points. And there's there's they can not much sustain drives. That Zeke and Zeke and Zach, Dak. That, that those those will get you. Right. Those guys can keep the chains moving. Yes, right. They can stay on the field. And I don't think there's too much competition here. Terrence Williams running around driving and mopeding drunk. I mean, Terrence Williams is terrible. I don't even understand how he's on somebody's roster playing or starting any week. Cole Beasley's a better rapper than wide receiver. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's aggressive. He's a pretty good rapper. I mean, Cole Beasley can. He slayed some lines he, there. He, and he can dunk it. He can dunk. He can. He can. I think he can. That's uh, not a rap term. I know you're not. Yeah. I think Cole Beasley would be just fine. There's gonna I be think a lot he can of go between the legs, dunk it. <laughs> Basketball on a ten yeah. foot hoop? I gotta yeah. see that. He's an athlete. I, I like Alan Hearns okay, but he's really only broken a thousand yards one one time back in two thousand fifteen, and he's missed eleven games over the past two years. Witten's gone, Dez is gone, you mentioned all this Casey, you, you named the targets, but Bryce yeah. Butler's gone. It's two hundred and forty two missing targets from Dallas last year. Um, and and I think I, I, like I understand this pick 
by the Dallas Cowboys. I, it makes sense for them. When you look at Dak Prescott, he, he only had 43 pass attempts of over 20 yards or more each of the last two seasons, which was good for 23rd and 25th in the league, respectively. So he's not throwing the ball very far down the field. He, he excels in the short to intermediate area of the field, like Michael Gallup does, and that's where Dak likes to, to operate. Gallup's a versatile dude. He can play all over the field, right? Like, it sounds like Dallas just has a bunch of slot receivers well, they got, here. They got, Hearns is they got, in the slot. They got Beasley in slot and, 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 and Hearns in the slot, and the slot percentages on those guys are, are both pretty high. Cole Beasley was in the slot uh, 87% of the time, and I don't know. Alan Hearns was in the slot 72% of the time. Not to say Alan Hearns can't play outside, but Beasley's mostly playing inside. Right. So they got some guys, and I don't think Gallup's really going into the slot ever. And they they do have Cedric Wilson, who I like as a late round flyer uh, for this squad. Well, the but they don't really have a tight end, so that that helps you out. Really, right. they they don't really have a playmaker there like Witten. And like I said, like the skill set of Michael Gallup just I feel like goes so well with what Dallas wants to do. I mean, this guy can can beat press man coverage, so I like him being able to come in and immediately have an impact. His hand fighting is on ten. Yeah, he's got some of the best hand fighting in the game. He's slippery and hard to bring down after the catch. Like he's super physical in his play, and these are all things that I like translating to the NFL field in a rookie season. He's good in the screen game. He had 657 yards after the catch last year in college, which was be- which was fourth most in the nation. He forced 20 missed tackles, which was fifth most against wide receivers. He's like I said, the hands. He's karate kid off the line of scrimmage or yeah. at the top of the route. The run after the catch and the hand, the the actual hand fighting of not allowing people to be uh, knocking him off of stuff. Now, sure, he can. Every single receiver coming out of college can use some help against the press man coverage. I, I yeah. get it. I understand yeah. that. It's just not something that happens a ton over there. But he's got great hands for wiping on and wiping off right. uh, defenders. And I've seen him beat press coverage plenty of times. You don't always see that. You don't always see guys getting pressed. So you can't even like really uh, uh, analyze them or right. evaluate them against press because they're not getting pressed. But this guy I saw getting pressed. This guy beat Alabama press man coverage. I mean, he was he was hand fighting with the best of them. Yeah. Um, I, I think I just think he does little things well. He's smart. He has great field awareness. And I like this Dallas team to bounce back. I know they had a terrible year last year. But, I mean, Tyron Smith dealt with groin, knee, and back issues all year long. He just couldn't get healthy. Missed some games and overall had a, a down year, which clearly affected Dak's play. Zeke being not being in there for six games certainly didn't help. So comparing 16 to 17, like Dak had the fourth highest QB rating on passes under pressure in 16. That dropped to 15th overall in 2017 with, with the line kind of breaking down and, and not having that left tackle anchor. On play action passes in 2016, it, he had the second highest QB rating, which dropped to 19th in 2017 with Zeke missing 16 games six. or six games. But even with the bad year that Dak had, and as bad as that offense is, and as little as attempts as they kind of have, and, and the yards that they totally amassed, he was still 14th in completion percentage, 12th in touchdown passes, and 11th in passes dropped. Like So he had yeah. a bunch of passes dropped by his dudes, which Michael Gallup, I think, has pretty good hands. Well, right. I like- so I like this dude coming in here, and, and there's not a lot of competition. He excels in what Dak wants to do and this offense wants to do, which is clock clock kill and run the ball and play action pass. Mm-hmm. There's still touchdowns to be had. Gallup scored, I think, 20, 21 touchdowns the last two years in college. So he, he can get it done in those short area spaces and in the red zone and the end zone. He's good on a fade. I just I had I, some pretty erratic QB play in Especially last year, Gallup. Very right. And, well, and there's some funky numbers there in that passing offense. It's, well, they're, it, they're 29th in attempts. They're right. 25th in completions. They're 29th in yards per attempt. They're 26th in total yards and 18th in TDs. Those were so bad. those are those terrible are numbers TDs, for your fantasy but 12 receivers. 12 in passing TDs. Those were bad attempt numbers and completion in numbers. So I I like the completion percentage through Dak, and that's what I was talking about earlier. He he's. He's a throw it to a wide open kind of guy because with his legs and the way he plays, he moves around enough. Even when he's not running, he's moving around to stretch the defense out. And that, you know, that that helps everybody. But now when you take away Jason Witten, who the defense has to watch because he's a first down getter, you and 
you say what you want to about Dez, s- still a beast out there, and you have to watch out for him. So now it's just where are the where is a mismatch other than Zeke on the field for their offense in the, in, in general? Just g- generally speaking, like. The only mismatch I can come up with is the offensive line is solid and they got one of the best tailbacks in the game and your quarterback has legs. And and those numbers, like the attempts numbers for the team, being 29th or 25th, Casey, something like that, 29th, 29th in attempts. In passing attempts. Bad yeah. atten- and, but the completion percentage and stuff like those are Tyrod Taylor-esque numbers right there. You know, that's what that's kind of how Ty- Tyrod Taylor protected the ball. And that was worst case funky. scenario, missing your star running back, missing I, your star left tackle. I know. I'm saying yes, the best I, players in the game. Don't get me wrong. 2016 was not great for the Dallas Cowboys. 2017 was not great for the Dallas Cowboys offense and with suspensions and all that stuff. But now your running back is we still got plenty of time before the season starts for him to get in trouble. Hopefully he does not. Well, you're not banking on that. Y'all boys just traded for Zeke everywhere. You got heavily, Zeke like 18 heavily, times heavily now. Heavily waited on Zeke. <laughs> Sides the point, though. Besides just got him because sure. he's one of the best players in yeah, the league. Yeah, it has nothing to do with this conversation. 2018, walking in 2018, you're desolate and you're witless. And those, target, those vacated targets are definitely something that you cannot pretend that they don't exist. It's the quality of the target, which is... Fairly high because I'd like what you said about his mid-range game and what Dak wants to do. Sure. But now you're coming in there as the number, maybe the number one guy. And if you're playing in the number one role and you're facing the number one cornerback, Dak's not going to force it to you. He did not force it to Dez, and that's what made Dez upset. Dez wanted it forced, and Dak didn't force it. And I still have him at 18 I total just, passing touchdowns. I see 18 I see, in total passing. I touchdowns. see a healthy, unsuspended Zeke Elliott getting like 400 carries. And 100 targets himself, and them trying to figure this thing out. I don't see him getting 100 targets. Watch it. Watch. But <laughs> I I don't hate Michael Gallup by any means. I like the player. I like everything you said, just like Big Co just said. Like, I th- think he does fit into there. I just, I do worry about this, the passing attack on this, on this offense, and it's just going to go to the open man, just like Big Co said. And I don't, I don't know how much I trust Gallup. If he does end up being the the number one guy to be, I mean, I've just been saying the whole time. I think he's a great number two. Yeah, and it's really almost it's going to be a week to week play on these guys. I'm not saying Alan Hearns won't have really and good Gallup weeks. Could be one of the the best receiver in this draft, man. Uh, yeah, like, and and that's Casey and said. Number Casey one. said it was it's not Gallup's fault that he's good at everything and not great at one thing. You know, like he said that pre draft, like Gallup's a solid receiver across the board. He could come in here and be exactly what an NFL team needs. We really didn't even talk about. Noah Brown. Noah Brown might be a beast. Sure. I, well, I didn't get quite that far. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, there's, there's, but I, what I'm saying is like one week, Cole Bre- we've seen Cole Beasley have multiple touchdowns in one week and then disappear for a week and then pop back up for two. Cole Beasley's a, uh, he's super slippery in the red zone. He can be open in the, in the end zone. You know, Terrence Williams, as bad as we make fun of him, you he's intimidated by Cole Beasley over there. I'm not intimidated. I'm just telling you what's going to happen in the season with your starting lineup. There's going to be players that you're going to plug in. They're going to aggravate the heck out of you if they're not named Zeke because they're going to get a touchdown one week and they're not going to do anything for two weeks. That's just how it works. If you got a team one week, Cole Beasley scores two touchdowns. Guess what the defense is planning for next week? Hey, let's take away Cole Beasley and see who he Nobody's wants to throw planning for. to take away Cole Beasley. I'm pr- you promise? Watch. Watch what happens to the Cowboys offense this year. They don't have anybody that's really well, a threat. Yeah, and you know, just to play a little bit devil's advocate back to us talking smack against Gallup. I'll go back to the 200 plus targets that are vacated that are probably even with being the lowest in attempts in the league. There's still that many targets, 240, 242 targets vacated. So somebody's got to catch some balls. Somebody's got to get them thrown their way. Um, and I agree. It's a it's a rookie. We're t- it's a rookie wide receiver there. They got some other rookie wide receivers. Maybe it's Noah Brown, Terrence Williams. Get. I'm not worried at all. Nobody's game planning to stop Terrence Williams. I, I didn't guarantee that. you that. No, just, no, I know. I know Terrence I know, Williams has got. He he's not going to be in your life. He's probably not going to be on your but, on your roster. But, but he's going to catch is, a 70 is, yard bomb week one. We can't get caught up in just again a one year thing. This we're play, This is a long term. You're buying Gallup. Maybe they find an alpha number one next year, and they figure out that hey, we need we need at least somebody that the defense focuses on. Yeah, and this guy's just Dallas. Come well, on, you man. Got, There's not going to be that long before they're going for Noah Brown sitting here at six two two twenty five. Been in the league a year already. Sure. Been in the building. Maybe played he's thirteen. Your guy. Maybe only he is caught your guy. only caught four balls last year, but at least he's been in the system. Been in the been on the team. Been in the meetings. 
You know, it, maybe this is, and I'm not, you know, you might have a, a breakout year for him might be 40 catches. Right. You know, that's, that's just how it works. Go from four to 40 and then 65 the next year. Maybe you're on the 85 train. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I'm probably taking Anthony Miller or for this team, I'm probably even maybe going Naheem Hines here just for some more depth at the running back position. Um, I can't knock you if you want to take Anthony Miller. I, I, after I made the pick, I was like, oh, I probably should have taken Anthony Miller because I do like him better as a player. I just I saw myself being attracted more to this situation than I really was to Anthony Miller's situation, right. and maybe that's and, wrong. And it's a multi-year thing. Is it what is, I'm saying. And, and that would that would back, further I, back up my point that maybe I should have taken Anthony Miller. Well, I mean, but Gallup, everything that you said is great for Gallup. I just think that the the biggest thing, the detractor for me, is that there if he ends up being the quote unquote guy there, I don't know how much I love him to be up against the best coverage over there. Like I think Which Anthony needs- Miller will not be and he will be, you know, right. a little less focused on the defense. Right. And I think I just think that I don't think that'll last that long in the Cowboys if Gallup doesn't come out and absolutely just light it up. They'll be on they'll be searching around for a, a dominant number. What's the Cowboys, man? They're not gonna And here here's how this goes. And right maybe it's now, Noah Brown. But right now, first week of June, there is no right or wrong answer here, Jay. That's the thing here. There is no right or wrong I'm answer. I'm sure it'll end up being You're, right or wrong. I mean, well, yeah. I saw, today, in you know, in the middle of the first week of June, there is no way you know if anybody tells you that it's they guarantee you it's Anthony Miller. Okay, if they get somebody will guarantee you that it's the Michael Gallup. Okay, we'll take that with a grain of salt. You can't guarantee me anything in the first week of June. Yeah, well, the thing with these receivers is, is everybody likes them different, and everybody has them in different spots. Some type, some people take Gallup as the second, first receiver off the board. We saw it in one of our FFPC drafts. I'm pretty sure we first saw round. Gallup go cool. higher than everybody. Like somebody right loved Gallup DJ because of right, right the oh well, it's a, it's a golden situation. There's nobody there to challenge him, and, and maybe it works out, and maybe he's also maybe he's the best out of this group in the first year and for the rest of the time. It's 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 all over the place with these yeah. guys, so there is no right or this wrong answer, a, and we really all, won't know for five, three, four, five years what the what the actual right answer was. Yeah, and 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 I I mean myself, I fluctuate. Like I said, I fluctuated back and forth, both pre and post making this pick because I'm like, ah, should have taken Anthony Miller. I don't know. I'll just stick with Gallup though. I, mean, yeah. I wasn't going to go back and change my pick, and you can't trade out. Maybe you trade back if, you, if you're on the clock and you can't decide, and you find someone who really wants a guy. But you can't you go can too far asset, back in the single in the single uh, it's quarterback to, league right here. Right, and it's about to fall Good off, and, and these are solid options to take, and you, right. and you almost can't really go too, too wrong with I'm any of them. Pretty cool with having any of them. Like, yeah. like I said, I'm not but it's that about upset to, fall to have off Gallup quickly. at all. Like middle, second round, it's about to really fall off as far as who's, who's out there to take. Um, I say uh, let's go ahead and take a break here. You guys got anything else for Michael Gallup? No. Let's uh, let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with uh, pick two, three. For Just your ready pleasure. to blow three in a row here. Yeah. <laughs> blow it. <laughs> 